Israel Putman was a heroic general, but not a very good one. However, he was one of the bravest officers in the American army. Israel had energy and determination. He began to get his reputation of being heroic in the army at lower ranks during the French and Indian War. There he served as a scout and faced thousands of dangers. Once, while on a scouting expedition alone trying to locate the French, he was chased on horseback by Indians siding with the French. His horse stumbled and Israel fell to the ground. He was in a big heap of trouble now. The Indians captured him and took him back to their village. They decided to roast him alive at the stake. They began dancing around him, hooping and hollering, carrying on. Then they lit the fire, and as the flames lit up about him, he more than likely began to pray out and cry out to Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord Jesus, help me now. I'm in trouble. Just then, a huge thunderstorm broke loose, putting out the fire. When the Indians saw such a wonder, they decided the Great Spirit must favor him, so they let him go. That's one rainstorm Israel would never forget, that's for sure. On April 20th, 1775, Israel heard news of the Battle of Lexington. I've covered that story in volume three of these historical devotions. At that time, he was working on building a fence with his farm hands at Pomfret, Connecticut. He dropped everything and went off to Boston a hundred miles away. He arrived early the next morning riding that distance in 18 hours. That's riding too. Old Putt, as he was called by his men, was put in charge and commander of the Battle of Bunker Hill. Boy, you should have seen this 57-year-old man in action. He looked like a spring chicken all over the field calling orders here and there trying to get the cowards back into fighting instead of running. The Americans didn't do too well. This didn't discourage old Putt. He fought so bravely that Congress decided to make him a general. He fought in many battles during the Revolution, and being a good horseman saved his life many a time. Romans chapter 11, 29 says that the gifts and the callings are of God, and they're without repentance. That means that once God gives you a talent or a gift, he doesn't take it back. Old Putt may have been the greatest general in some ways, and in other ways he wasn't. But Congress didn't take his rank from him. He served his country well and did the best he could. You see, we're all special to God. What you do is special too. You'll play a part for God if you allow him to work in you. You don't have to be like anyone else except Jesus. Don't feel like a failure because you've messed things up from time to time. You can still be what God wants you to be for Him. God calls some to be spiritual generals, others to be spiritual soldiers. If you do exactly what God calls you, you'll be happy in this life and receive rewards in the life to come.